they did call the cops on us because we were supposedly making too much noise. And some guy was like bringing out every fucking rule in the book. Like, hey man, if I slip and fall in this water, where's the insurance at and all this? So we're like, all right, bro. Like, oh, we came by to do the car today. From, no, it wasn't, it's not here. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Andres and Angel here with A&A &A Deluxe Detail, Los Angeles, California. And in today's video, we will be walking you through two of our mainest details here in the Glendale area. Before you decide to brush your teeth, put on your clothes, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Let's get it, let's get it. So Andres, can you tell us a little bit about this car and about this client? Yeah, this um, client, we go way back from high school, it's one of our old friends and she's been supporting us since we started. We have been coming over here, I'm gonna say a little bit longer than a year. And yeah, it's been a true client. What's up? You need a what, a trade? Oh, a trade off. He usually vacuums, but since the vacuum doesn't require his expertise, I can take care of it. I can vacuum too, but you know. And how often do you guys switch, I just, switch up the it, roles? Here and there, I don't really know when we're gonna do it, we just do it. So, but we're both, yeah, exactly. So in order for us to be more efficient, he's gonna just automatically jump on the windows and I'll vacuum, wipe down the inside, tire shine, and by the time he's done with the windows, we're good to go. So Andrew, right now you found a pair of heels. I'm guessing it's the owner's heels. Yeah. What's like the craziest thing you found? In someone's car? Oh, one day, we thought we found the real gun. It was under the, the seat. Uh-huh. We move it all the way forward, we lifted the C up, you know, with the little buttons. Yeah. And there's a black and I paused, I was like, oh sh I was like, don't touch that, you know, because we didn't, you know, we didn't ever know. Yeah. And then we just called the owner and then they ended up saying it was a BB gun. Oh shoot. <laughs> but I was, you know, I was like, oh I don't want to touch that, you know. And I, you never know, you know. It looked so real. It did not have the orange. It looked so real. It weighed the same. What the heck? That, I would say that's you know the craziest thing. We f we found the mango, a half eaten ma full mango under a, a seat as well. Yeah. We're we were like it's about time she let that mango. <laughs> so you're saying the mango car also had what? No, not the mango car. Uh, the car with the. It had what? Also had cockroaches. Forgot. Like infest, infest. Yeah, or? little itty bitty baby cockroaches. How do you think that? Like, but it's in a. How does that? It was a. It was a pretty new car too. I don't know, but dude. How did they get into the car if it's like a? I don't know. I think the building had it, and somehow got into their stuff and then what, what transferred guys, into their car. Did you guys have to like spray rain or like vacuum them out or what? No, as we were vacuuming, they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were coming out, you know, and then we kind of just finished cleaning the car and we're like, hey, there's, you know, cockroaches. Yeah, and they're like, oh, we know. Yeah, this right now we're in an apartment complex. Yes, sir. In the past, have you had trouble with, like, apartment complex managers or tenants that they don't want you to do your, your work there? Not everybody, for the most part, it's cool, but we did have this one incident where they did call the cops on us because we were supposedly making too much noise, but the cops just, they didn't do nothing and we actually ended up, he actually ended up asking for some prices, so oh, really? it was all good. It was on your side. Yeah, man. So that noise complaint, was it in the morning or? Yeah, I'm gonna say it was around like 10, 11 a.m. So, so it's so, after like? Yeah, it wasn't like too early. It was just, I don't know, man. I guess you didn't like to hear people working. There's also the slippery water guy. Oh, we can't water. Someone told us. Water? Someone told us we couldn't wash below whatever building we were under oh, yeah, because we were like at an underground could slip underground garage, like a parking and structure in Burbank. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Law office in Burbank. And some guy was like bringing out every fucking rule in the book. Like, hey man, if I slip and fall in this water, where's the insurance at and all this? So we're like, all right, bro. Like, we'll just, okay, we'll just get out your way. Let us know what you guys have gone through. You know. Can you give us an update on the on the wash? Yes, we just finished washing the exterior of the car. We just got to finish the inside, getting the brushing on the doors, the center consoles, and we should be good. And how far is the next one? The next spot? Next one? It's in Eagle Rock, so basically, I'm say about like two, three miles away. Oh, not that up the street, yeah. What happened on this? Who's hitting you up? Oh, just uh, just another random mo mobile detailer just tapping in, asking for advice on the pressure nozzle that we were using. Yeah, again. And what about the car? The car is done. 
Got the a, a smoke, look how shiny it's looking, bro. Look at the rims, hit the tire shine. Sheesh, the windows are busting. Caught the smoke. So you guys are done with this car. Uh, what's next? We're gonna go down to Eagle Rock for another maintenance. But before we go, don't forget to take care of your cameraman. You go, my boy. Thanks, man. Sheesh. Go. Follow us. In like two weeks, man. Oh, okay. we got you too, brother, on trip. Let's go eat. <laughs> What's up, everyone? We are now on the way to location number two. Going through Glendale. Brought to you by our beautiful water spots. Right here. What's up, my boy? Yo. Yo, this is all to the a a community. Hope everybody is enjoying the content me and my boy Angel are putting out. You know, we're showing you the daily struggles and success that comes with the business. So, hey man, just let us know in the comments below what you guys think so far, you know? All right, so as we pulled up, we realized the car wasn't there. We had set it up from last week. We were supposed to be there last Thursday and he said that his wife was gonna be out. And then we set it up for this week, which is today. I did not hit him up yesterday, which I usually do hit him up a day before. But I just assumed since we rescheduled already that he would know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give him a call and let him know that we came. Are you gonna try to reschedule for? Yeah, well, I'll just let him know we'll be back next Thursday as scheduled, with the normal schedule. Yeah. Eddie, what's up, brother? How's it going? Oh, we came by to do the car today from, no, it wasn't, it's not here. Yeah, we're here right now. No, she might, she might have forgot or something. If she'll be home soon, then just let me know. All right, brother. So she was supposed to be back by now. Oh. Probably a little marker run, you know? Yeah. Are you guys gonna wait for her or? Yeah, he said he's gonna call her, see how long all right, all right. she'll be. He was aware that we were coming. Oh. Yeah. Even though I didn't message him yesterday. So we're good. But make sure you're telling your clients a day or two days before to confirm. Here he is. Hello? Hello? Oh, okay, cool. We'll, we'll wait right here. All right, brother. Thank you. There it is. She'll be here in five minutes. Five there minutes. it is. Sounds great. Cool, cool. What kind of car? It's a forerunner. 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 Uh, Maintenance. Easy. Papitas. Is it Beautiful usually day. dirty or not? <clears throat> no. You guys have been maintaining it? Yeah, every two weeks. Got We've gone three weeks only because they went on a trip. Mm -hmm. But it's still pretty clean after that. Nothing. It's always crazy. Ready to go. I'm ready to catch right. that smoke. A&A smoke, right? The A&A oh, smoke. She She's Hashtag. Right oh, you gotta move. The car made it. So go ahead and look around. Yes, sir. Uh, what are we gonna do here today? So, this is, it's funny that you bring up that instance of when, what do you do when there's a little bit more than a maintenance? Yeah. So this is that situation where there's a little bit more than a maintenance, but we are more than happy to do it for them because we are here every two weeks, 90% yeah. of the time guaranteed, yes. So what do you think made it a little bit more? So the mats, I think there is uh, that extra week that we didn't come back. Uh -huh. There's a little bit more on the mats there. Instead of just a vacuum, we kind of got to drill them up real quick. Um, the outside, you can see the water marks and dirt mixed together here. Yeah. That was from the rain from like a yeah. week back, right? Or uh, no, like a week. A week ago, yeah. A week. Um, and then the bird droppings on the inside. There's a little more vacuum than usual. Mm -hmm. And those take it over the maintenance just a little. But by, by how much do you think it'll It's just like that the instance of, of shampooing the, the mats and the extra vacuum. And how much time was that gonna add to you? About ten minutes. Ten minutes? So that's why it's you know, we're willing to do that. It's not too bad, not too bad. Yeah. Alright man, I'll let you do your thing. 
Okay, let's go, let's go. about this car it looks it looks brand new to me you know? hell yeah man so me and angel have done a great job of of making this sure this car is always looking brand new we're here every other week and this client he got this car specifically out the dealer and was looking for this type of service anyway so me and angel made sure that the client gets what he wanted how long have you been this client since like the beginning bro he's been another loyal customer he's been here for since we went mobile Nice, nice. And uh, when you first contacted this customer, or when you first interacted with them, did they go to your house? Because remember you were doing details at your house? Um, yes, and no. He, I guess he got this car at the right time, because he hit us up right after we came over. Oh, we went mobile. Yeah, so it was perfect. First yeah, exactly. And he's been rocking with us ever since, because he loves the way me and Angel leave his car, and it's just the regular schedule thing now. And what was going through your head when, when you showed up here and the car wasn't here? Were you thinking, oh, I got to schedule another one? Or? Nah, well, first you want to always get in contact with the customer. You never know. Like for this case, the, the you know, the wife was shopping or the market or somewhere. So just always get in contact with your clients. Compared to like a, a full detail, what would you say your favorite part about doing a maintenance detail is? My favorite part is that 95% of the time you know what to expect. What to expect? So it makes it makes it easier or you can make a game plan, you can already have a plan of attack to get it done in a timely manner. And for this one, you said earlier that it was a little bit dirtier than mm -hmm. expected. How, how was it's done. It's done. That's it. Easy money. No, easy yeah, money. easy, Smoke. easy, easy. Yeah. So it's nothing, nothing too. No. Too it wasn't anything more than a couple more strokes of the vacuum and pulling out the extra tool. Ten no, minutes. No other surprises other than the little dirt that was on there. None. Uh, yeah. yeah. So what do you, what do you guys have left to do? Just gonna hit the windows, tire shine, door jams. Good to go. Can you give us a on the car, Yes, we are done. Good. Just waiting for the windows to be finished and should be good to go. Yeah. Did it take as long as you thought it would? Or? Uh, so it's been about five minutes since we got here. No, I'm just kidding. Five minutes? Damn. <laughs> no, um, it's about average time. Average time? Yeah. Cool, cool. Mats. Sheesh, my boy, look at that. Look at that. Looks brand new, man. Shh, come on, boy. A and A. All right, guys, today we brought you along with us to work on two maintenance details. And we did have a little bit of trouble, but we figured it out. And there's always gonna be problems and setbacks in your business, but with the right mindset, there isn't anything you can overcome. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We hope you guys have a good one, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.